So today, I'll be showing you how to transfer your data from an older iPhone to an iPhone 14. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to transfer your data from the older iPhone using the quick start feature on iPhones. So on my left, I have my trusty old iPhone 13 Pro, which I've been using for the last one year. It's a dual physical iPhone 13 Pro. It's good. It's the space gray iPhone 13 Pro which I've been using, it's been great. I have everything here, photos, videos, settings, applications, everything. On the right, I have the brand new iPhone 14 Pro in space black. And so I'll be transferring all my data from the 13 Pro to the 14 Pro, okay? Now the quick setup feature only works when you switch on your iPhone for the first time. So if you had already set it up and you're trying to transfer data, this method will not work. You might want to look at other methods or you can reset the iPhone 14 back to the factory settings and that will give you the initial setup screen. But since I just took this out of the box, all I need to do now is switch on the brand new iPhone 14 Pro. Press and hold, the power button is right there. Let it boot and while it's booting, connect the new iPhone to a charger. There you go. So the iPhone 14 Pro is now charging. You can see the dynamic island there. Now we are ready to set up. So simply slide up and then choose your language. Mine is English. And then I'll choose my region. Meanwhile, make sure your older iPhone is sitting right next to the new iPhone. And as you can see, this iPhone detects there's another iPhone next to it. And it's going to ask you if you want to set up your new iPhone using the Apple ID on this older iPhone. So tap on continue. So now it's going to tell you to hold your new iPhone up to the camera. And basically what you need to do is take the older iPhone and then position this inside this circle. So let's try and do that. There you go. And that will transfer the controls from this iPhone to this iPhone. Now it's going to tell you enter the passcode of your other iPhone. So I'll quickly do that. That's basically the passcode I've been using on this older iPhone. And now all you have to do is wait for your data to be transferred from the old iPhone to the new iPhone. As you can see, it says it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. That mostly depends on how much data you have on the older iPhone. Now I'm being prompted to set up Face ID afresh. That's one thing you'll need to do. It cannot transfer your Face ID data from one iPhone to another. You'll need to set it up afresh. Now you can do it now or you can set it up later. So I'll choose set up later because I don't want to get the phones out of the set. And then the next screen is transfer data from Crenier 2, which is this iPhone. It says if you're moving from that iPhone, you can transfer all its data and settings directly to this iPhone. Also, it says keep your other iPhone nearby and connect it to power until transfer is complete. And it says this will take around 25 to 35 minutes. So all I need to do now is tap on continue. And then of course you need to read the terms and conditions and eventually agree. It's going to tell you, make this your new iPhone. Here's everything set up as you had it on your other iPhone. So apps and data, you can check, you can check your settings or you can just continue by tapping on continue. You can even see this iPhone is already connected to Wi-Fi because it's picked up the Wi-Fi of this phone and set it up on this one. So that means everything's going smoothly. Now also, as you can see on this iPhone, I was participating in the Apple beta software program. If I want to continue, I can simply tap on continue or I can tap on don't continue beta program so that this phone does not get the beta software updates. So I'll tap on don't continue and then confirm don't continue. And then of course you can see the new features like crash detection for iPhone 14. So tap on continue. So now with everything set up, sit back, relax and wait for your data to be transferred from your older iPhone to the brand new iPhone 14.
So with the data transfer complete, the old iPhone will tell you transfer complete. Your data has been transferred to your other iPhone. Now, after the old iPhone finishes transferring your data to the new iPhone, it's going to give you the option to erase this iPhone. So maybe if you want to sell it or give it away, you can erase all your data from the iPhone and it goes back to the original factory settings. Or you can simply tap on not now and keep your iPhone with a backup of your old data. It's up to you. So on this other side, you can now tap on your phone. It says swipe up to upgrade. And that's because I'm using an older iOS version on the older iPhone. So if I swipe up, I'll need to enter my passcode. And now all I need to do is allow the new iPhone to upgrade to the latest software. So once the upgrade is complete, you should now just swipe up to open, enter your passcode, and it says software update complete. Tap on continue. Set up face ID. If you have time, I'll set it up later. Again, of course, you have to agree to terms and conditions. And welcome to your new iPhone 14. So as you can see, everything is exactly the same, including the icons arrangement, all the apps. Some of the apps, of course, will need to be downloaded onto the phone. So that might take a few minutes. But uh, once that is done, as you can see, everything is now on this brand new iPhone 14. So now we can keep the old iPhone away and start using our newly set up iPhone 14 Pro. So all you have to do now is wait for these apps to uh, finish downloading and installing and that's basically how to use the quick start feature to transfer your data from an older iPhone to the brand new iPhone 14 or iPhone 14 Pro thanks for watching leave your comments and questions down below and good luck